Greetings from Tokyo! But first, let's play a little game of Where's Happy Do? Can you find us in the crowd? Oh, here we are! We're doing things a little differently today as we join you from the Japanese capital, often believed to be the largest city on earth with a population of close to 40 million people, which is more than I can say for the whole of Canada. The good news is, from the spring of 2024, traveling between Tokyo, a must-see on any trip to Japan, and Fukui, a total hidden gem no less, will get easier than ever before, as the Hokuriku Shinkansen bullet train extends into our little paradise on earth. Making the trip from Tokyo a mere 2 hours 53 minutes with no transfer. But did you know? To discover what our quaint corner of the Japanese countryside has in store for you, you don't even have to set foot in a food green. Of course, the ideal way to get to know the place is still to come over and experience its centuries-old Zen legacy, traditional arts and crafts, and foodie scene firsthand. But a little trip to one of our antenna shops, a series of boutiques housing a shop, restaurant, and showroom under the same roof, and featuring everything Fukui related in the heart of Tokyo, might just be the next best thing. With that in mind, the first stop on our Tokyo vlog today is the Fukui Antenna Shop 291 Ginza, nestled in the popular upscale shopping district of the same name. Here's a fun fact, 291 actually reads Fukui in Japanese. We learn something new every day now, don't we? You'll also find here a vast selection of exclusive traditional crafts from Fukui. え、越前ダンスがあるんですか。タンスちょっと置けないので、こういった。はい、コースターですね。若さ塗り橋ですね。えっと、お箸の塗り橋の全国の多分80% 越前越前焼きカスターの目の材というのは旦那さんのやつというかまあえ、サイドみたいですねあと、えっと、伝統工芸ではないですけれどもあの、やっぱりサバエの目がねなるほど What's more, when you do make the trip to Fukui you'll be able to actually meet with the artisans who handcrafted these beauties hear their story, visit their studio and sometimes even try making something yourself while you're there, with the help of the professionals, of course. And while at the antenna shop, I highly recommend you try a bowl of Sol's Katsudon pork cutlets over rice or some Echizen Oroshi Soba. Fukui's Soba Buckwheat noodles have been crowned best in Japan several years in a row after all. Next up is the Fukui antenna shop, Minami Aoyama in, well, Minami Aoyama, another ritzy neighborhood of Tokyo. On the first floor is a cafe, serving some delicious onigiri rice balls made from premium rice grown in Fukui, Ichihoma, and cooked using a traditional Japanese heart, as well as meals showcasing the huge Fukui Amaebi spot prawns the local port town of Mikuni has become famous for. The second floor, on the other hand, is home to an inspired and inspiring co-working space, Connect 291, where creative types and the rest of us can get some work done while pretending to be in a stunning food grid. You can of course just pretend to be working too. So, the next time you're in Tokyo, why not drop by one of our exclusive antenna shops for a little piece of food grid in the city? But be careful, you might just fall in love with the place and find yourself impulse buying Shinkansen tickets before you know it. For more travel ideas and local tips, look for Experience Fukui on your favorite social media platform. 
As always, thanks for watching and see you soon! Squeaky.